The Marianas crow, or aga in Chamorro, is an endangered, endemic, indigenous species of crow found only on Guam and on Rota. Suzanne Medina is a wildlife biologist at the Department of Agriculture. Well, we just want to let Guam know that about a month ago we lost our last female crow, which is really very troubling for us. Um, we've been watching the decline of Guam's birds over the past 30 years, and now we are left with just two male crows on Guam. She died about a month ago, and she had kidney failure. The last female crow, known as Mochum, was about 12 years old when she died and was living on the Department of Agriculture's compound with her mate Sweti. Medina explains that Mochung's kidney failure could be due to a number of things, but they won't know the exact cause until tests are completed. This leaves one Marianas crow on Guam in captivity and at least one in the wild on Anderson Air Force Base. We know there's at least one. We've been following two for about a two years, one has since disappeared, and uh, but they're both males, and that's why she was just very important to us. It's almost like the uh, you know, it's almost like we it's time for us to say goodbye to the aga, which is something we don't want to do. That was the last female, so the chances of actually getting a breeding pair here on Guam no longer exists. It's sort of like a, an illustration of what so what's going on on Guam? You know, things may be moving too fast, but also things may be moving too slow. And so in the world of bird conservation here on Guam, we have to act now. It's now or never or seriously gone forever. There are, however, still some Marianas crow left on Rota. Medina tells PNC there are roughly 167 birds, but the population has been steadily declining. Medina says there are four to 500 crow on Rota just 13 years ago. Rhoda does not have the brown tree snake, but biologists there have documented feral cats stalking and killing entire families of crow while they're foraging for food on the ground. On Wildlife biologist and Cheryl Calostro. It just goes to show that the work that we do here on Guam and the work that we support on Rhoda, they all have to work together if we want our birds back in the Marianas. So if we want crows on Guam, all of us, scientists, the community, um, we all have to work together to make Guam safe for our animals. Uh, we can take care of them in cages, we can keep them in cages, but really what we want is to have them here in the wild for generations to see.